All right, watch our future cast become increasingly active tomorrow night and into Tuesday especially. And increasingly active means mostly rain for us here on the western slope, while up in the mountains we are likely to get some snow. And that storm system that I'm tracking is moving into the Pacific Northwest, working its way inland right now. Out ahead of this, we're already getting some clouds here across Colorado, but these clouds are so far dry clouds, and live radar doesn't have any rain or snow showing up. Yeah, but we're going to notice the clouds increasing steadily through tonight and even into tomorrow. By tomorrow morning, a couple of light showers are possible over northwestern Colorado. And then afternoon, maybe we get a few sprinkles and very high elevation snowflakes to fly. Uh, but then things really start to ramp up uh, after 6 and even more after midnight tomorrow night and right up into Tuesday morning. Our future cast shows areas of widespread rain for the Tuesday morning drive. There's 6 a.m. and then we see the snow up on the Mesa and up in the Elk Mountains, not to mention south of us across the San Juans where some of the heaviest snow is likely to fall. Now, by midday Tuesday, this is starting to break up. We've still got some spots of rain and we especially still have some spots of snow up in the mountains. That takes a little bit of a break through the afternoon and then overnight Tuesday the snow starts to ramp back up. Now this is when we have the potential to maybe get a couple of snowflakes to fly in our southern areas. I'm talking Delta, Montrose, Nucla, but even there, even if we get an inch or two, it's more likely to melt than accumulate. The accumulation is mostly going to be up over the mountains and even at lunchtime on Wednesday, we can still have some areas of snow. So I don't expect any accumulation, barely anything falls, if anything, from Grand Junction to Delta, really. But then again, you get down to Montrose and over toward Nucla and Bedrock, and that's where maybe an inch or two can fall. But as I say, more of that's going to melt than actually accumulate. Here's where we get the accumulation. I'm, ta I'm talking on the order of six to nine inches up high on the Grand Mesa. Up to a foot can fall up in the Elks around Crested Butte and even up toward Marble and uh, Aspen as well. It's the San Juan they get the biggest amounts of snow up to a foot can fall in widespread fashion and then you have some localized cases where perhaps 16 to 18 inches of snow can fall. Metro Denver gets an inch or two, but the Central Mountains are the big winners here. If you've got travel plans along Interstate 70, expect a little bit of a mess going over Vail Pass. Vail itself can get six to nine inches of snow. We may get more than a foot up on top of the pass, and that extends down through Aspen, Marble, and Crested Butte as well. Tomorrow, the lead up to this is going to turn gusty on us. It's not so bad first thing in the morning, but that wind is going to ramp up, and it gusts easily into that 25 to 35 mile per hour range tomorrow afternoon and it's going to be somewhat on the warm side. Temperatures crack into the middle and upper 60s tomorrow afternoon and it's a mild morning with 50s to low 60s lingering through about lunchtime. Lows in the morning are going to be near 49 in Grand Junction. Low to mid 40s are common elsewhere and then tomorrow afternoon we can expect middle and upper 60s will be as warm as about 69 degrees around Grand Junction. So the first half of the week is active. We're going to start Wednesday with maybe a lingering raindrop or snowflake up high and then the day gradually brightens up, but it's going to be chilly with a high of just 52 around Grand Junction. And then Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, yeah, wishful thinking. How about Halloween morning? 29 degrees will be our low temperature. The high, just 55, and then we're gradually warming after that. Montrose, we've got that chance for rain as early as tomorrow night. It's really going to be a rainy start to Tuesday, and then that starts to break up in the afternoon and the evening. Then Wednesday starts cloudy, becomes sunny, but look at the chill. Temperatures are dropping into the 20s for morning lows. Highs are going to drop into the 40s and 50s. In Delta, you're up to 68 tomorrow. Cooler 50s, though, are on the way after that shot at rain Tuesday morning, and then we'll gradually warm back in towards 60 by uh, Saturday, but your lows are also going to be dropping into the upper 20s and lower 30s. In Cortez, expect 66 degrees tomorrow. Colder 40s and 50s for your highs are in the forecast from Tuesday through Thursday, while morning lows are dropping into the high teens and low 20s.